Hello friends, welcome to BHP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In today's session, we are going to create discrete work definition in Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing Application. So in our last session on work definition, we have already seen what is work definition, what is district work definition, and what is process work definition. We have already seen all the, the complete picture of work definition, right? So in today's session, we will create the discrete work definition on the application. So we have to perform certain tasks for creating the uh, work definition, discrete work definition. So first of all, we have to create a definition name. And after that, we have to create the definition header. Later on, we have to add the operations. And we already seen in our last session uh, how to create the operations, standard operation. And later on, we are going to add the item to the operations. And uh, later on, we have and add the operation resource to this work definition, right? So let's move on to the application and we'll see one by one all the tasks on the application. So this is our application. Click on this navigator and go to the supply chain execution. Click on this work definition. So we are going to create first task. The name is work definition name. Manage work definition name. First of all, we are going to create it. So click on this add row. And we can add the name as per your requirement like uh, Tata work definition, right? And you can also give the same name over here. Right. And the type is standard, right? And you can use as a planning over here. So click on that. And you can define the start date and end date for this work definition name. So click on this save and close, right? Now click on this task this again and click on this manage work definition, right? So in order to create new one, click on this create icon, right? So in the create work definition, we have two option. Either you can create the definition by the new, or you can create by the existing work definition. You can copy the work definition, existing work definition, right? We have to uh, define certain details over here and you can create the work definition based on the existing work definition, right? But uh, right now we are going to create new ones. So click on this new work definition and we have to define the item over here. So let's find out our item over here. So search for our item and select it. Click on this okay. Right, so this item and we have to define the structure name. We have already defined the structure name while creating the item, right? So click on the production and we have to define the work definition. We have create earlier search, search, select and okay, right? So these are the work definition information and this is the product information. So click on this next. Right. So this is our work definition and we have to define our operation, right? So we have already created. So let's select. So click on add row. And we have to select by the Code over here. 
So let's so we have seen. So first of all, we have select the tablet assembly, right? <clears throat> so in this operation, we are manufacturing the tablet and assembling it in our organization, in our manufacturing organization, right? So this is our tablet assembly, and this is our work center, tablet assembly work center, right? And let's select one more. Now we are going to select our supply testing. So at the supply testing, we are going to send our item for testing purpose, right? And uh, once our item fulfill all the testing parameter, the supplier will be send our item to our organization, back to our organization, right? So this is our uh, supplier testing name and the operation type is supplier, right? This is our operation type is in-house and this is sup supplier operation type, right? And we have to define one more. So this is our uh, tablet packing. At the last, uh, after the item gets tested successfully, then we will perform the operation like uh, packing, right? So this is our all the operations we have defined in our work definition. So let's click on this, save and edit. Right? So you can see over here, this is our work definition details. So we have defined three uh, operation. First one is tablet assembly. Second one is uh, supply testing. And the last one is tablet packing, right? So let's click on this tablet assembly. And we can see over here, we have a two resource, right? We have the two resource under this tablet, right? And uh, on the supply testing, we cannot define and uh, on the tablet packing and we have one resource over here, right? So we can, we can check the information by click on double click on this. So let's check our task. So we have created this work definition name, work definition header and uh, we have added the operation so far. Now let's add the operation item, right? So we have item name, the tablet, and under this item, we have the different component over here. You can see these are the component. So we have to define all the component to the tablet, right? This tablet assembly, Right. So let's assign the item to the operation in the district work definition. So we have the multiple way to assign the item structure to the work definition, right? So we can drag and drop a single drag and drop multiple drag and drop. And either you can click on right click on this, click on action and you can assign this component to the operations, right? You can define and you can define multi-select. So how can you define? So first click on this collect and uh, select multiple light, multiple component. So this component goes to this option. These are the collector item, collected item, right? So select all the component and click on this collected item and drag it from this and drop to the table assembly. This tablet assembly, right? You can see all the item comes under the tablet assembly, right? You can see, click on double click on that, right? So all the item component comes under the tablet assembly, right? 
Now you can assemble all the, you can assemble tablet by the component, right? And you can perform all the tasks with the help of the resources available over here, right? Now, we have to define the operation resources. So click on this resources. And under the table, tablet assembly, we have a two resources, but all the two resources are already available and already assigned to this tablet assembly. So no need to worry about and no need to assign again to this assembly, right? So we have defined all the tasks. We have complete all the tasks. So click on this save and close, right? So let's search by the item. Right, so you can see this is startup work definition. Click on this the name, and you can see work, work definition. Right, all the work definition information over here. Right, so this is how you can create a discrete work definition in our Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing application. So, thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.